I'm the Highway Walker and today we're going to be looking at how you can make an emergency candle out of household items. I've seen this done on other shows and I just thought it was amazing and I had to try it for myself. We're going to make some candles today out of household items because what if something happens and you don't have candles but you're going to need some light especially running around at night, sun goes down. So we're going to make some hillbilly rigged up candles. Now we do have the ability this time, we do have a little thing of, of wicks. So we're going to make them out of the stuff we have here, but we do have the wicks. So we're going to try that this time. We can get those at a craft store. In craft stores, you can pick them up and then you can have those handy and you can make this. Here is, we had breakfast and we may put all the bacon grease after we strained it into this little jar and there is a wick there. I'm going to put it in the refrigerator and let it get a little hard uh, so you can do that like during the day. Now another one I think is going to be really cool, say you've got uh, some nice vegetable oil, some Crisco, uh, makes a very good big candle and it'll last forever. So this is one we're going to do and also butter. Everybody usually has this butter. But we're going to cut that in half and make two candles out of a stick of butter. First I'm going to do the big, take off the top and you're going to put a wick in there. Now, some people, I made a st stick up, I charted off, and they shoved down the wick with the stick. But I'm going to try something different because we did have a straw. We found it in the house. And I'm thinking the straw will be hard enough for me to push it through here. Don't know? Maybe it will or not. Let's find out. I need, it needs Looks a little like help. you're bending. So my stick. That's what they normally do is take a stick or a knife and they take that. Right. Take it all the way. This way I get it all the way down in there and I'm keeping the wick straight my little straw and I feel the bottom so I made it all the way down to the bottom. Good. And a little bit, get that hole real good. And then I just slide off my little straw and I've got me a nice wick in there. And I'm good to go. And there's one of the candles. We'll set that off in a little bit. For now I'm going to go ahead and do another candle. I do have a question about those wicks. Is that already got where you can just light them? It's got a wax on them already. Yes, these are already uh, ready, to go. ready to go. Now I'm going to cut my butter in half this way. And I have two candles. So I'm going to cut this wick. Here, scissors here. And I'm going to send it down with my probe stick I made. So you're bending it a little bit. A little bit on the corner there so I can send it on down the road. You can start with frozen butter if you have it this just out of the refrigerator. You're in an emergency situation. You can actually use butter to make it an emergency candle. So having a, a wicks on hand is a really good idea. There it went. Okay, I got it all down in there. Okay. There's our wick. I'm going to turn the wicks back. Give them a little bit of wick. Like so. Let's light our little wick. These are already wicks. Oh my goodness. Now, as we see, the wick is burning down. It should slow down once it hits the fat or the uh, butter. Now, I'm going to move this candle to here so it doesn't make a mess and as you can see it's still on and, and it's been about 15 minutes 15 minutes and we're still rocking and we'll see if that stays this one is doing very well it's making this little puddle and in an hour we'll pull out the bacon grease candle and see how it does we just pulled out our little bacon grease candle here and we just pulled it out of the refrigerator electricity's off it's emergency here we are, we're in the dark, so what are we gonna do? We've got a little sunlight coming through over there. I'm gonna cut the wick down. Let's give it a light. And it looks like we have us a candle. But that's how you make an emergency candle out of household items. <laughs>